Hello guys, welcome to StartPro Tutorials. In this session, we will be discussing about sending an AutoCAD file to StartPro. So if you see, an AutoCAD file is as simple as this square which is upside 5 meters. You just select the command DXF out OUT. Select enter. Now save the diagram on desktop in the format DXF. Once you are done with it, close AutoCAD. Go to Strad Pro, select new project, select space, give some name, and let the units be meter and kilonewton, and select next, add beam finish. Then you go to file, select import import and select the option 3d dxf import now select the file drawing 2 select open you need to keep y upside direction select ok ok now the file gets transferred to autocad to start pro so you need to make sure that autocad is closed the program autocad is closed so as you can see in this way it is transferred to AutoCAD however if the file in AutoCAD is a plan if it is a plan as shown in figure what you do is you select layer L -A -Y -E -R, layer command select enter you just lock the layer then you just lock the default name zero layer then you create a new layer which will be columns and give it a give it the color uh, blue or whatever else select ok red or else yellow select ok now you need to change the status to columns so that we might we may be able to draw the columns midpoints so now this layer is active so and you won't be able to delete the layer locked so in order to send this we just need the columns in star pro so what we'll do is using line command line command will select the midpoint of each columns of all the columns that are present so as you can see in this way the midpoints are selected and the low color mark comes because the layer is on in this way just like that you need to do here and for this and for here and also in this and here so select the line command
select the midpoint you always select the midpoint because the column as in star pro will be at will be assigned from midpoint the sizes in this way then coming here now on the other side Well, we are remained with here. So select it. Well, go to the other point to find if you have a midpoint. In order to have these midpoints, you need to make sure that in object snap settings you have endpoint midpoint center that's it and also ortho you make sure ortho is on So here we draw the line till the center of the column. Then we proceed to the other side. Now this extra part we can just select trim, press enter and select the object. You just need to unlock the layer so that you might be able to trim that part select trim select trim press enter select the object now you can lock it so now we are remained with the center points here so you select center points you once again unlock it select trim press enter or tr so 
so once we are done with the line diagram of center to center columns what we'll do is we'll go to layers command then we'll just switch off the main figure present in the background which is locked we'll switch off the layer now that the layer is switch off and only the figure remained is this so you will select the whole figure and in give the command w block press enter select units which will be meters and give the destination for the file which will be desktop and file name will be new block 222 w d w g save so now the file is created you can just close this or else you can minimize and open the file you can see here new block 222 just open it and you can find the exact figure which we have extracted from this drawing so just you can close this now since you have this figure you select dxf out command and give name and save it on desktop now close the autocad file go to start pro select new project select space give it a some name select meter and kilo newton select next select add beam finish go to file select import 3d dxf import select the file open select y upside now the entire figure gets transferred to stad pro as you can see so when you switch on the grid the figure is present somewhere so you need this node whatever this node which i am selecting here this node to be at exactly at zero point so you just select node double click it you are given with the coordinates for node which is 52.558 in positive x direction so if you select the entire figure and move it to minus 52.558 it goes to x equals to 0 so we will do using all geometry cursor select the entire structure select geometry or else you select beam cursor and select the entire structure go to geometry select move Fifty-two point five five eight. Select member. Give distance. Give in x direction minus fifty-two point five five eight. Select okay. 
yes yes now you can s using node select the node and s double click it you can see the x is 0 coming to z it is in negative direction minus 40.31 so you move it to positive 40.31 select the entire whole structure select move member 40.31 select ok yes yes see the figure gets moved in this in this way now since you have the figure so you need to create columns and let us say the five story building so just select the entire structure go to geometry select translational repeat give number of steps as 5 default spacing will be 3 meters in y direction and select link steps now select ok so in this way the columns get created now go to front view and delete the bottom beams now you can see our building is just right here the way we wanted now then we go to general assign the properties support loads and design it and analyze it as we all know same as RCC building so in this way an AutoCAD file is transferred to Stad Pro this is the end of the session thank you well I will be pressing ctrl Z well I will be pressing ctrl Z so as to undo whatever I have done is perfect sometimes the figure when drawn a complete beam is obtained without the partitions so in such a case we select the entire figure go to geometry select intersect selected members intersect and let the tolerance be g 0 select ok in this way new members if present are created so and the everything is similar as before selecting the entire figure selecting translational repeat so in this way later on we give the sizes support loads then we analyze by designing end of the session thank you